Hello, this is Lisa, and in this Access Tips video, we'll work on the navigation pane. The navigation pane is the way you will communicate with all the different objects in your Access database, whether they be tables, queries, forms, reports, macros, or modules. As you can see by these little arrows, you can individually expand and collapse the different sections of the navigation pane to either view or hide the objects of that type. If you've never seen them all collapsed before, it's somewhat disconcerting when you open your database and you can't see any of your objects to work on. Another Expand Collapse button exists right here with the navigation pane itself. If you open a database and that's closed, then you need to obviously know how to open it to work with your objects. One other thing is we can resize the navigation pane so we can expand or collapse the amount of room that that takes on the screen. In addition to expanding and collapsing the different sections, if you right click the title bar, you can view your objects in different ways. By details, which shows the date that the object was created and last modified. Right click, view by icons, which puts all your objects as small icons, or right click view by list, which I prefer because it puts the most material, the most items in the navigation pane as possible. When you right click that title bar, you can also look at different categories. Right now we're looking at uh, object type, but you can categorize the objects by other ways, by tables and related views, by created date or by modified date, or even custom categories. I'm going to work, I'm going to switch to modified date here so you can see what I mean. So now all of the objects that I've messed with today, I've edited today, are in that top category last month and older, so on and so forth. To me, if someone has recategorized your navigation pane, anything other than object type, it might be hard to find your objects if you're not aware of how to recategorize them. Finally, if you simply normal click, left click on that title bar, you can selectively show only the objects of one type, such as tables or queries. Personally, I like to set this at all access objects so that I can see all my objects in my navigation pane. And if I have a lot of objects of one type, I simply expand and collapse them as I'm showing you now. In the upper portion of the uh, drop-down menu, you can show the access uh, objects in, in, again, different ways in different categories by created date or by modified date. That's the same thing as right-clicking it and changing the category over here. Personally, I prefer object type at the top and all access objects at the bottom at all times. So I can see all of my tables, queries, forms, reports, macros, and modules quickly and easily. Thank you.